Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. The wilderness will lead you to your heart where I will speak integrity and justice with tenderness you shall know long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in, in my, my words, words in, in what, what I have done, done and what in what I have failed, failed to, do. to do, through my through fault, my through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in the, and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is given you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord, my God, has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord, our God, is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are just as this whole law which I am setting before you today. However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise you, Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. 
He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. <clears throat> Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do you think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets? I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of these least of my commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing for the intercessions, and I encourage you to reread the readings today and reflect on them in their time of prayer. The readings today remind us of the importance of the law the importance of the Ten Commandments, the divine law. And so if you don't know the Ten Commandments by heart, in order, then please make it a point to start learning them today. We turn to our Father in heaven with our prayers and our petitions. That the church may never forget the great things God has done for her, never get used to grace and to her gratitude, may find expression in obedience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. To our great nation, may give evidence of its wisdom and intelligence among the nations by resolutely observing the God-given laws upon which it was founded. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For all who find it difficult to obey, for whom, for whom, the law, for whom law is an impersonal and negative reality, that they may come to understand that God of love can only legislate for the fullness of life in, in, in his children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all have asked for our prayers and for those most needed in prayer, that healing, strength, and guidance may come to them through the power of the Holy Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our departed loved ones who, while on earth, obeyed and taught commandments of Jesus, that they may now enjoy the fruits of their obedience in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. The intentions for today's Mass, we pray for Angela Perez, we pray for Leo Stavinoa, we pray for Celida Colin, and we pray for the souls in purgatory para las almas del purgatorio. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for always hearing our prayers. Lord, we ask you to answer them according to your most holy will, and we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, who are good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of our peace. Peace be peace you, with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life.
and neck of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <coughs> Pan de vida, cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first. Poder es servir, porque Dios es amor. We are the dwelling of God, fragile and wounded and weak. We are the body of Christ, called to be the compassion of God. Pan de vida, cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first, poder es servir. Porque Dios es amor. Ustedes me llaman Señor. Me inclino a lavarles los pies. Hagan lo mismo, humildes sirviéndose unos a otros. Pan de vida, cuerpo del Señor. Cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first. Poder es servir, porque Dios es amor. Poder es servir, porque Dios es amor. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reminder that today we have confessions from 5 uh, to 7, 7 o'clock holy hour, uh, 7 to 8 here in the church. So please, uh, if you know somebody that can come, please invite them and please make plans to come yourself. Please take advantage of this time of confession. It will be here in the church. Plenty of time, plenty of room to spread out in the church. So please come and invite others to come. Once again, we have a 9.30 funeral right after this Mass. Unfortunately, uh, it's a little bit of a time crunch. So we ask you to please I uh, exit the church uh, in, um, after Mass so that we can sanitize and get ready for that funeral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in the day of battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, 
And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. O Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Lord, you have searched my heart, and you know when I sit and when I stand. Your hand is upon me, protecting me from death, keeping me from harm. Oh, Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me 